Now in the third of these tutorials, we're going to take a look at creating an interactive component. So to get started, we're going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see this particular element we've got on the screen. Let's move into design mode, if you're not in design mode already. And we're going to create something that's going to be um, a sort of pop-up from this particular element that's here. So we'll start off by making a rectangle, something like this. Should be good to get us going. And then inside here, I'm going to put a square. Pop it in like so, and then some text. Okay, let's put an image inside here. Let's just drag the artist into that block, and there it goes right in. Okay, I'm going to do a little triangle. Let's rotate this around, hold shift. It'll snap into place. Let's get both of those elements and its object, path, add. They're added together. And let's grab all of these elements here and group it together. And then we'll position it right there over the top of this particular um, pin. Okay, now as we've got this, let's select the pin with it and let's click on component over here and this is now added in it could be named as something let's just leave it as component one and then what we see over here in the components is that this is the default state and then we're going to add a new state now we're not going to do a hover state because this is for a okay, mobile phone so it's not going to have a hover state because you don't have a hover with your finger um, so we'll do a new state and we'll just call this active and that is that going to be our active state so let's move back to the default state and Double click in here, let's take this down. And let's turn off responsive resize because we don't want that to happen. There we go. Let's take it down something like that, like so. And just click off there, back on the active state. Sometimes it does this, it sometimes um, makes this on the active state as well. But now as we've got that, let's try and bring this up on the active state. Default, active. Okay, now on this default state, what we can also do is double click it and just take the appearance of that down. Okay, click off, try again, active state, and we sort of lost it there on the active state. Let's push it back up again. Occasionally just does that with the, the active state and the, uh, the regular state. So you just have to move between them a little bit and try and make it work. Uh, it's kind of tricky. It's probably about the trickiest thing that you, you do in XD. But there we can see we've got our two states to this, and that's perfect because we've now got an interaction that can take place. So zoom out, and I'm going to just copy this whole layer. Let's just copy, uh, sorry, the screen rather, and paste it. And I'm going to call this artist. And for now, I'm just going to get rid of the map and uh, the pin and that pin. Okay, that's good. So we're going to move to the artist screen from here. So we're going to go into our prototype mode and on here, <clears throat> our default state, we're going to move it to the active state. So we click this plus underneath interaction rather. And on tap, we are going to do uh, an auto animate to the active state. And we're going to snap to that. So let's snap, not 0.2 seconds should be good. So it'll just kind of bounce out, sort of snap out when we see that. And then we're going to take our active state. I'm going to do an interaction on that. It's going to be a tap and we are going to transition and we will move to artist and we will do a slide left snap, not 0.2 seconds. Okay. Let's give that a go. Let's move back to our default state. Let's hit the play and when we click on it. We get this, we'll make this a little bit bigger. It looks a little small at the moment. Didn't realize it was quite so small and click and it takes us to that new state. So let's just edit that. Let's go back to our design and it helps if we're hundred percent. So then we can see the real sort of size of this. Let's move to hundred percent. There we go. And into our active state, double click here. And I think what it really needs, so I'll bring it up with just a touch. 
What it really needs is these uh, the text elements here seem to have got very small. Okay, move back to the default state. Let's try that. There we go, and it pops out nicely. Click and takes us across. Lovely. So that's us creating an interactive component, which is probably the trickiest thing that we're going to do in these tutorials. Let's save this. File, save as. Let's call this stage three. And join us next time as we use Repeat Grid and we do some more layout for the artist page.